Okay, in class, we filled out the notes for evaluating expressions, and then we did number one together. Uh, what I want to concentrate on is I want to do a few examples with you, but what we're really concentrating on is the setup. So, watch how I am setting these up. We already said that the most important rule in algebra is to put parentheses around those negative integers. You can put parentheses around all integers, and it's not going to harm you by any means. But here's what I mean by the setup. So everything stays the same except what I'm substituting in for my value of a. So 9 stays the same. I can put in parentheses 4. 4 stays the same, and I'm just putting 4 in parentheses. This squared stays outside the parentheses. The only thing that goes inside those parentheses is my value of a. And then I get minus 2 times 7 squared. I have to see this setup for you to get credit. I know a lot of kids want to look at that and they can do it in their head, and that is fantastic, and I love that you can do mental math like that, but we've got to focus on the setup because they get trickier as we go on. So now I'm just going to do order of operations, and I get 9 times 16, 4 squared is 16, minus 2 times um, 49, okay? So 9 minus um, 16 gives us 144 minus 98, and 144 minus 98 is 46. So that should be my answer for number two. We did number one in class, and as you remember, we got 23. All right, so that's number two. Let's go over here, and I really want to focus on ones with negatives. So number three, notice four stays the same. Inside parentheses is my value of m. So negative 2 goes inside my parentheses and I close it off. I bring that square down. I bring the addition sign down. I bring down the 5. I open parentheses and I put negative 2 around it. Now order of operation tells me I'm going to square it first. So negative 2 squared is 4. 4 times 4 plus this negative 10. And that's not simplified. can't stand that. So I get 16 minus 10, which is 6. So 6 is going to be my final answer. Okay. Let's take a look at, uh, yeah, I love the ones with these negatives. So let's take a look at number 4. Really paying particular attention again to that setup. So open parentheses, I get 8 times 2 minus a negative 4. Okay. Minus stays the same, and D is negative 4, and then I close out my parentheses. Divided by 2 times negative 4. So when I look inside my parentheses here, I have this minus a negative, which becomes positive. So I have 16 plus 4. 16 plus 4 is 20, divided by 2 times negative 4. So I can do this, um, I'm going to do 20 divided by 2, which is 10, times negative 4, and I get negative 40. Okay, so when it's down to division and multiplication, we read it left to right. That's number four. All right. Going down, let's do, let's do more ones with negatives. So number six, my setup is two, open parentheses, negative five in the brackets, minus three times negative five times four. Okay. All right. The absolute value of negative 5 is 5, but I have this 2 outside, which means multiplication. That's like the coefficient of that absolute. So 2 times 5 is 10. All right. I am multiplying these three numbers together. Commutative property says it doesn't matter which way I multiply them. So I'm going to multiply 5 times 4 is negative 20. Negative 20 times negative 3 is a positive 60. And when I add them together, 70 is my final answer. Let's take a look at, all right, let's do seven and then we'll go um, a little bit to the back page. All right, so let's take a look at my setup. So parentheses, this is negative four minus one squared plus two times one minus seven times negative four. So I'm going to look inside my parentheses and I get negative four minus one 
which is a negative 5. Negative 5 squared is 25. This is multiplication, so plus 2. This is multiplication, so plus 28. Commutative property says I can add them any way I want. So I'm going to do 2 plus 28 is 30, and 30 plus 25 is 55. So 55 is going to be my answer. down and let's do what number do we look at? Uh, let's do oh this looks fun. All right let's do number 14. Okay so I have 7 squared times 2 squared minus 22 over 7 squared minus 2 cubed plus 5 times 7. All right so 7 squared is 49, 49 times 4 minus 22. So 49 times 4 is um, 196. 196 minus 22 is going to be 174. Okay, that's my numerator. And my denominator, I'm going to work it down here, is I get 2 cubed is 8 plus 35. 35 and 8 is 43. And then 7 squared is 49. 49 minus 43 is 6. So my denominator is 6. 6 goes into um, 17 2 times, 5 left over, and 6 goes into 54 9 times. So my answer here is 29. It goes in there evenly. Okay? All right. So if you have questions on evaluating, let me know. And we can work um, more of these together. If you want to check your answers and you've done these, I'm going to give you the answers real quick. Number 9 is 49. Number 10 is 44. The answer to number 11 is negative 3. The answer to number 12 is negative 14. The answer to 13 is 9 over 11, 9 elevenths. Number 14 we did is 29. Number 15 is 5 sixths, 5 over 6. And number 16 is 13 over 16. 13 sixteenths. Okay, so hopefully that's going to help you with these two, with completing these two, two assignments. Excuse me. So come and see me if you are still struggling. Um, and I will see you guys tomorrow.